Uh, back again. Here we are again. We're still here, everybody. Yeah. Cup of tea now. <laughs> yeah, do we go for tea soon? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a tea break when we finish. Okay. Yeah. Tea, tea for later. Yes, of course. Right, I yeah. can't have tea because I've got no tea bags. I have to go out in the morning and get some tea bags. Oh, I had a, I had a provision one coming home, so yeah, I got one here for you. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, one. Well, no, my husband's out, so he won't even go and get me one. That's okay. Yeah, that's that's lovely. That's lovely. So I was saying that uh, I was talking about uh, the my new rhythm, the Kali Reiki. So I'm yeah. trying to to rebrand, to create a new brand of Reggae and. Uh, and Coupe de Calais. So which is called, I call it is a new generation. I call it a new generation of reggae. So you will have some reggae tunes, reggae beat in the song, and some Coupe de Calais uh, instrumental sound in the music. But actually I am at the early stage, I'm working on it. And when you look and you see, well, we've been through a very difficult, tough situation with uh, uh, with uh, COVID, and uh, we couldn't do anything at all. My career started uh, uh, with COVID, and it was really frustrating. Everything was online, and uh, you start you start singing, and uh, uh, it, it, it was the the quality was very poor. Quality. So when we finished, we came over. Uh, COVID and the government in October, I think September, June or something like that, took the decision to lift uh, the conditions or go to smoothen to smooth the conditions, uh, COVID conditions. And I said, okay, I'm going to take this opportunity to record a new song. And uh, I started, that is where I, I, first, I recorded my first Decali uh, Reggae song, which is Pick Up Your Phone. And oh, when I was yes, yes, yeah, yes, and uh, that pick up of phone really uh, uh, made me who I am actually, because I didn't expect that uh, people would like it, and uh, some some of my friends told me that oh, reggae is so established, it's, it's very powerful to win that you're creating something that will not work, and so on and so on. I said okay. And they put me off. So you know, people do put <clears throat> put you off because everybody's got opinions, and if you listen to too many opinions, however yeah. well meaning, you know that everybody's got opinions, and they're always yeah. a lot of opinions seem to be quite negative. You know, if yeah. people think about something, it's usually because oh, there's something they want to say that's that's not it, pleasing them, and they have yeah, to not, explain not, yeah. it. So they're kind of doing this. Whereas usually if people say something nice, they they can, it isn't like an opinion, it's more like something general. So you think, oh, they don't really mean that or that's soft, you know, when they go, oh, that's great, that's lovely. That's, yeah. you're trying to, but that's because it's very hard to be really positive, I think. It's like, yeah. without yeah, being so, very general. Yeah, so they put me off and I, I, I put the project aside for two months. And uh, one night I went in the bathroom. That is where in the bathroom my music happened in the bathroom when I am in the bath. That is where I start thinking. My, most of my decisions are taken in the bathroom. And I was in the bath and uh, thinking, I said, I said, okay. My intuition told me, do what you decided to do and leave the public to judge it. Yeah, too, too right. You just have to do uh, it. Okay. So I came, I was in the bath and I said, okay, I'm going to do it. And I came, I came out the, uh, uh, came out of the bathroom, and I went on the computer. Start night, start at night. I start keying things and doing things, writing, putting them. I said, okay. Yeah. Uh, and I worked for night, really for night, and it happened. It oh, happened. I'm, yeah, I went to the studio. I went to the studio in Birmingham to, to record it. And uh, my like Yanis, uh, Mr. Yanis, okay, help me recall this song. Okay, told me that this is something different you're doing the reggae. Why else do you come up with this? And I say, yeah, I like it. it's I like it. 
I, I like taking risks. This is impressive. I like it. I like it a lot. I, I, I really like it because reggae is like, it's great. And we, we, you know, I'm from a generation that loved reggae, but you know, you, you feel like it, it needs to, to move on sometimes because there's lots of different kinds of reggae. It needs to feel like it's something right for now. And I think because reggae is not so much, well, it is an easy music to do at some level because it's sort of slowish and because the chords are straightforward. It's easy to get inside reggae quite quickly. And I think, you know, you can't stay there. I'm really pleased to see adventures in reggae and, and new yeah. adventures. <laughs> Yeah, it's not reggae really is very good reggae. So I I, mm -hmm. I made that uh, pick up your phone. I recorded it, and uh, my friend and the people. I started. I put it on Facebook, and people started loving it. Oh, and that it's got was, magic. Yeah, yeah it, it, it has Cooper de Cali in it with the message of reggae and all this. When I was praising reggae and this and that, and people like it. People really like it. It was the first of my song that had more than 4,000, 34,000 likes on views and likes on my on my on my YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, people recognize and, something for themselves. Yeah. So for now. It, it energized me like okay, I'm going to to do an, a second one. And uh, I recorded Life Feels Beautiful. So Life Feels Beautiful, I recorded it. Maybe you listen to it and uh, uh, I, I I recorded Life Feels Beautiful, which yeah. is really beautiful. So, and uh, this song has been praised actually in Los Angeles recently in a uh, uh, in top chart. Okay, for nearly a month in in Los Angeles. Could you believe well, it? Just all the diaspora, like you say, I'm yeah. sure that there's people who it's speaking to yeah. are all around the world. So that that's it. Is. Yeah. And uh, uh, one day I, I it was on my website uh, and on my YouTube page, and uh, I got. Uh, uh, an email from Andy, uh, from Andy Music, and they said, "Okay, we like your song. We want to to help you with it." And I said, "Okay, let's go on." And they started promoting it. And uh, I'm here. I can hear you. I'm yeah. just by the... yes. <laughs> and it, it was like driving me mad. Yeah. So yeah, I'm hearing good. everything. Yeah. So. And the, and the music, and the network music, they called me in for, said, okay, we want to play your song because we like it. I said, okay, what shall I do? I said, okay, put it on and we play it. And they put it on and they played it. And since then, okay, life is beautiful. Excellent. So, that's it. so that, that, that is it. So I'm working on this new rhythm, but now what I'm going to do is to incorporate some uh, uh, reggae drums in the music and uh, with the uh, uh, that's it the batteries and uh, the drums but uh, the piano and uh, 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 the piano and uh, the other instrumental would be a, a more like a coupe de calais so i will bring together both uh, coupe de calais sound and we to make it, and, again. and I'm working on that. And, and there is something really beautiful on the way. But actually, there are pressing okay, social issues uh, back home, and people ask me to uh, uh, to do something about it. And uh, so I have to put that project on hold for the time being, and uh, uh, and respond immediately to the pressing issues going on back home in Ivory Coast. So that's is where I am actually. So that's the story. So, so we can, in a musical uh, journey, we can expect some more adventures with De Cale Coupe. And what's the characteristic of De Cale Coupe music? What's the oh, what yeah. can we listen out for that will tell us? Yeah, is this yeah, music? yeah. De, De Cale Coupe is a funny, is a funny uh, musical genre. It's okay. It's a funny musical genre. There is no proper philosophy behind it. Yeah. So it, it is just entertainment for the sake of entertainment. That is what it fine. is about. That's the music is fine. It's a very abstract thing sometimes, music. Yes. And it came in the country in Ivory Coast at the time of war. So uh, 
people was depressed. There were war going on. There is really uh, uh, the country was disconnected. So Duke Saga created uh, that music with the aim okay, uh, of bringing happiness, joy to people. He wanted really to make people happy, feel happy. It's okay. So. But are you gonna be quiet? Oh. <laughs> well, let's wrap oh, it anyway. Yeah. I think we're ready to wrap. Yeah, I think we're ready to wrap yeah, it anyway. So. Um, he wanted to make people happy, so he, he, he built, he produced that, that rhythm for the sake of uh, 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 enjoyment, excitement, happiness. That is what it is about. So I decided to incorporate it in my music because I think that uh, we have to look at things from a positive perspective. Uh, from a positive perspective, and uh, because life is beautiful, so we have to enjoy our life. Oh, yes, it can be all more also more romantic, but it is not that. But we can bring all these feature of reggae and Kupe uh, Bikale uh, together to uh, 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 entertain people. That's, that is my philosophy. But I'm reggae, okay? I'm reggae, uh, uh, fundamentally.